Hello and welcome to Quick Thoughts, a short editorial series where I give my quick thoughts on something. So, since I just got 50 subscribers, I thought I'd do something a little special and talk about one of my favorite anime of all time, Bakano. So, without further ado, let's begin! So, what exactly is Bakano about? That's actually a pretty hard question. The story is split up into three different timelines, each telling a separate tale. One's about a war between mafia houses, another's about a little girl searching for her brother, and the other one's about the events that transpire upon a train. The plot moves at breathneck speed, and alternate between timelines every so often to give the audience the full picture. It's a little bit confusing at first, granted, but you can catch on pretty quickly. All the characters get introductions, from the mild-mannered yet confident Firo to the ecstatic couple of Isaac and Miria, to the completely insane madman known as Lad Russo. The story is also told out of order, as the first scenes of the first episode literally tell you what the ending is. But it's shown to the audience out of context, so they actually don't hinder your experience at all. Actually, quite the opposite. You want to see how everything ended up the way it did. That's pretty much Bakano in a nutshell. So, why do people love this anime so much? From the get-go, it sounds like a huge train wreck, no pun intended, with a non-linear story and no real main character. However, after a lot of pondering, that is the true beauty of Bakano. The fact that it's so unconventional and takes so many risks. Tell me that there is an anime out there that is anything like Bakano. Sure, there's its spiritual sequel, Dura 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 Screw it! Well, at the time of this video, I haven't seen the show, but I've heard that it doesn't hold a candle to the amount of quality that Bakano contains. Back on topic, I think the main aspect about any show that most people love to see is a unique story that's well executed, along with developed characters that you enjoy watching. Animation and sound just happen to be extras. Bakano doesn't seem to be restrained by the unspoken limits of anime nowadays, which is bound to catch someone's eye. However, just because an anime is different doesn't always make it good, see Sekon no Quasar. That's where the best part of Bakano comes in. The writing. I don't think that I've ever seen a story that was written with the same amount of love and care as Bakano's. I'm not kidding. Bakano is one of the most well-crafted and perfectly executed stories that I've ever seen, period. And the writing just holds everything together flawlessly. There were no huge plot gaps, as everything remained consistent and flowed really nicely, there were no unjust character motivations, and finally, its pacing is absolutely perfect. Nothing felt out of place, everything just worked to the story's advantage. Even I, as hard of a nitpicker as I can be sometimes, can't nitpick this story at all. Sure, there are probably some out there who can, but for me it's like there's a huge metal wall that's surrounding this anime that I just can't break. Oh, and let's not forget one of the best English dubs in existence. Seriously, even those who hate English dubs have found something to like in this anime's English dub. Every performance is spot on, and while the New York accents weren't the most authentic, they fit the show and helped build the atmosphere. Next, I want to talk about what I believe to be the most important part of any show, the characters. The cast of Bakano is rather large, but at the same time, the characters all have developed personalities and are so fun to watch. The reason? There is no central main character. That is what truly makes Bakano stand out besides the terrific writing because each character, at least the major ones, are given an ample amount of screen time that gives the creators more than enough time to flesh everyone out. Even people who are normally portrayed as villains like Lad Russo, Luck Gandor, and Claire Stanfield are given the same treatment as a normal anime main character, and that's what makes this cast so memorable. Sure, you can have a character cast that has a main character, but I also love a good story that is told from the third person omniscient point of view and Bakano succeeds in that category. To conclude, I think people love Bakano for being unconventional, having an incredibly strong character cast, and a wonderful story. It's a unique and entertaining package that should not be missed in my opinion. But if nothing that I stated above interests you, then I suggest staying the heck away. Or you could stick around. Maybe you'll find something you like. I give Bakano a 4.9 out of 5. Why is it not a 5? 
Well, just because I happen to like both versions of Fullmetal Alchemist more. Sorry, Bakano, you're brilliant, but you still can't match up to FMA. So, do you agree? Disagree? Leave it in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time.